Hello YouTube! I am Pinstar and this is Oxygen Not Included Strategy and Tactics Episode 15. So in our last episode we finally combined a reservoir and found that we dug it way too deep. But that's okay! We needed a room anyway. We have some plans for this space. We have future growth to contend with, things to manufacture, things to power up, like for example this smart battery. Uh, so we need a little bit of automation wire um, connected to our battery. Um, the smart battery is going to govern um, how aggressively the um, coal power plant uh, uh, requests coal and electricity and what have you. The other thing um, I'd like to point out is that we are um, we're, we're we're in a little bit of bu I can talk. We're in a little bit of a bind when it comes to our uh, food. Uh, not yet, anyway. But I can see it coming. We have eleven dupes at this point, um, and um, based on my current Patreon count, we're, that total is going up to thirteen. Uh, possibly higher if more patrons sign up. Um, we, we, we have not been uh, consequently expanding our food supply. So we kind of need to do that. Um, and that means we need to, uh, we need to make room right here um, by our printing pod. So these things are going to need to start going away um, and, and relocated. Namely, our science needs to start being relocated. So we need a room for that. Um, oh yeah, we can deconstruct these things. Well, we'll de uh, deconstruct these things. There we go. Um, you know what? I think I'll, I'll, I think I will relocate the science over here. Now that we've kind of opened up a, sp a space for it and all that, let's do that. Um, yeah, you know what? We can deconstruct this tile too. And we will just mop this all up before it becomes a problem for anybody. And actually, before you... Yeah, yeah actually, no. You, we want you to do that. We'll, uh, we'll just make this... I mean, there's no, there's no reason why this can't be just a big room here. Because, again, the science room doesn't have any benefits to it any more than the other types do. Um, can you guys get down? Not really. No, actually, yes, you can. Um, we will continue telling you, telling you guys to mop so we can, uh, we can just sort of top that off. That works perfectly. Okay, we're gonna, uh, we're gonna get ourselves some new, um, um, our supercomputer. We can move over here. And, of course, our research station. Like so. And we will have ourselves a nice little lamp. Because we do still want those speed boosts. Um, yeah. We'll, uh, we'll send you through the water here. And we are going to start deconstructing these guys. Maybe not quite the wire yet. Actually, before to make sure we're not ripping up wires, uh, we are just going to deconstruct the buildings themselves. That's more like it. Okay, we've got the automation wire going here. Uh, so high threshold, one thing, so the way you like to do this is, um, because the building has cycles, you basically need to tell it when to turn on and when to turn off, but you don't want it to be a hundred and zero. You want it to be more like, uh, like 85 and like 10. That way you don't have wasted cycles. Um, and now let's reconnect the power lines because I know we gutted a few things. Yeah, heavy watt wire here. Heavy watt wire there, and then we will do a um, 
I believe we will need a power bridge, a wire bridge. There we go. Yeah, we got to do it over here like that. That way we don't cross our lines here. Perfect. So once all those get plugged in, then we'll be in good shape. And yeah, I know, I'm kind of neglecting and, and, and delaying science here. But that's okay. Um, we'll, we'll be getting back into science, and we did quite a bit of science to start out with, so... We'll be alright. Oh yeah, let's, uh, let's power you up. Oh, we already have that. Yeah, I know we're missing our research station. We're working on it. Chill. Yeah, all our builders got sidetracked up here, which is fine. Our little park here in the middle of nowhere. Just kind of floating out here in the middle of the sky. But hey, that's that's doing what we needed to do. Ooh, I think we have a nope, nope. It's still a baby. The sage hat looks like he's he's gonna eat them. They don't eat each other, thankfully, but they look like it. All right, we've got that going here. There goes our things. Excellent. All right, you guys built all this? I think we're golden now. Um, so yeah, we have, we have hooked this up, yes? I think we're golden. Um, so we will enable the building and that will begin our alternative power source. Which means, once once this uh, gets enabled and starts pumping its thing, we can start uh, getting rid of this jumbo battery here. Somebody going to enable that thing? This toggling thing seems to be like the longest thing ever. Alright, well, our research did get finished eventually, so... Let's see if there's anything, um, the desalinator and ore scrubber, nah. Uh, these things, these refined renovations, both the temp shift plate and the fire pole are going to be useful. So let's go for those. I have a feeling this little guy is not, uh, not too happy here, so we're going to find a new place for him. I mean, maybe he does kind of want to be here. We just need to get rid of this uh, standing water on here. I think that's what was causing him to uh, not to be too happy. All right, here go. Here's our coal generator, which means we don't need these things anymore because we're kind of be kind of going to be relying on coal now. Oh yeah, it would help us if we built a. Um, storage bin nearby here, specifically for coal. So this thing is just going to keep pumping and pumping until the smart battery gets full. Once the smart battery is full, then... Um... Oh yeah, we should uh, select our filter. Uh, we want to filter out... Um... Yeah, all, all, all the things that can be uh, liquefied here. Uh, where is it? Ethanol, ethanol, ethanol. We want to... Alright, this is going to be purely coal, please. So see how, see how the, um, the coal generator stopped once the battery was all set? Now, once this battery drains, it'll start pumping again. And that, my friends, is how we get coal online. Alright, now time to now time to finally 
worry about oxygen. We, we need to. Um, we also need to worry about food, but we also need to worry about oxygen. All right, that's been cleaned up. Let's plant the oxy fern back down here, just because it'll be happier down there. Um, we're keeping these two diffusers around. How, first off, before we before we look into it, um, organic algae. Yeah, we're down to twenty seven um, in algae. Granted, when we mine some stuff out, we'll get a bunch more, but that's besides the point. So our, um, our stuff is actually going to go up here and we're going to want to build it with insulated tile. Oops. Uh, because the, uh, the, the, the sections that we're going to be utilizing here are going to get kind of hot. So we're going to want to do that and we're going to want to dig out along here. And actually the fact that there's a lot of metal up here is going to be a good thing. Because we're going to need a lot of metal. Um, in fact, let's uh, let's let's increase you up here like this. We uh, send that flying. Yeah, that's not going to cleanly go into our thing. We're, we'll find we'll we'll have to figure out a way to deal with this water up here. Maybe slink it. Maybe have it run down here because down this way it will hit. Uh, we can deconstruct that, and that that way it'll pour all the way into our our basin here. But this is going to be the the sort of the breaking ground of it. Actually, there's going to be two different parts of it. We're gonna we're gonna have the the actual um, oxygen parts of it, the uh, electrolyzers part of, parts of it down here. Um, looks like we've accumulated some uh, carbon dioxide down here, but that's okay. Um, we're gonna do. Let's see. One, two, two. Yeah, like that, and that. This is, uh, no, I'm not going to repeat the build that I did uh, before, because um, I got I got a little something else in mind. But right here and right here, um, there's there's a reason I'm saving a, a, an empty space in here. But we do want to... Um, We do want to get our scaffolding down here. And actually, this, this little spot will be useful to just give people access to the ground floor. That's not our permanent um, uh, need for it, but it's what we want to do right now. All right, still no eggs. Still not seen any eggs from either our wild or domesticated guys. Not the end of the world. All right, let's uh, fast forward here. And yeah, just as I thought, with the water cleared up there, it's happy as a clam now because it's got all the carbon dioxide it could ever want. That's not going to it's not going to hold a candle to what this thing is going to be putting out, but that's OK. Um, now, what I should do here is, since we're going to be going along the lines of this, um, let's actually not, let's not build that there, but I do want to insulate these other things. All right, you guys are doing your thing. A nosh bean. What does a nosh bean? It wants carbon dioxide. Um, but what is your? Yeah, you need. They need to be fed ethanol, um, which is not really, uh, not really a thing. We'll just put that in there. It's not going to feed it water or anything. But we just want the stuff growing. I saw some sand come plummet. Yeah, there it is. Let's fix that. And all that coal that these guys are pooping out is ultimately going to be feeding this thing. 
All right, we're, we're making some quick work here on this area here, which is exactly what we want. Now, you guys might get trapped here, but this isn't exactly a uh, low oxygen area here. So I think we'll be okay. But we do want to make sure this is insulated so we don't fry our dupes. All right, we got our uh, our poles here. This might be able to we might be able to cut down on our long commute times, but I want to get our oxygen flowing first. Um, metal tile smelting. Um, yeah. Well, let's uh, let's do smart storage because we want to start getting into the automation things here. We're we're getting to the point where that's going to become a thing, where we're going to want to start doing that thing. Um. So we might as well start teching towards it. Now, right now, there's no, um, there's nothing um, with our, as far as our. Yeah, we, we could put this, I mean, granted, it requires metal. That's that's the one problem here. We, we are about to need a metric F ton of metal and for our projects here related to getting our oxygen online. And there's already some some stuff we need to worry about here. So I'm not quite ready to shell out a whole bunch of metal just for that. I almost got all the insulation down, and then we can start our next part of our build here. There we go. We're getting all of our, our goodies built over here. Zoom! No limit. Run! Okay, Let, we got most of what we need there. So what we need over here, this is uh, this area right here is actually going to be tying into this hydrogen area. We're, we're going to be building a little bit of a hydrogen chimney. Because, again, if you remember from uh, our last series, the electrolyzer split um, um, water, clean water, into oxygen and um, hydrogen. Uh, now, the hydrogen can be recaptured and then burned in the hydrogen generator. Um, so that's kind of the uh, kind of the thing we want to do with it. But there's a few other things that we want to do with it as well. Um, where is this? Actually, it might be under utilities here. Thermoregulator right here. So this little thing right here is going to take the air... Um, uh, the, the air that passes through it and cool it down. It's basically an air conditioning, but the, the temperature that it absorbs from there radiates elsewhere and it needs to radiate somewhere else. We want it to radiate into the hydrogen. Hydrogen is very thermally absorptive, if, uh, absor uh, absorbent, absorptive. Um, you know what I'm talking about. So we want that to be the first thing that this thing hits. Um, and then after it does that, um, we want it to uh, pass over these two. We want that we have two hydrogen. Ger yeah, there goes our metal. See, this is what I was talking about. We about us needing more more metals because these things are very very uh, uh, material intense. Let's let's say. Uh, and we used up quite a bit of our iron ore there. Um, I do think we need to tap into this copper right up here. Um, I don't want to. I don't want to pop the uh, the things here, but I am willing to go digging out for it. I don't think that's enough water pressure for us to worry about it. And we can dig out the dirt as well. That's more like it. 
Yeah, it's a nice. It's like it's like another temperate area over here, and then we got this big nugget of metal ore too. That's kind of far away, but it's there in case we need it. And also another packet of uh, actually a lot of a lot of good stuff: mirth leaves, pepper plants. The other thing that I wanted to to get going in here is um, now that they've harvested this thing, let's rip up, um, deconstruct this farm tile because we're going to be doing a lot of upgrading into uh, um, into hydroponic farms. We're going to get some Bristol berries going here. And yes, I know these things are still here. We're going to convert the tiles soon enough. Um, now, the one thing about the light radiance here Oh, wow. That's using up metal, too, for hydroponic farms? Sheesh. Well, I still want the hydroponic farms, anyway. One thing we may want to consider, uh, and this is going to be another project, but I want to get my air going proper first, is a... Um, um, a rust oxidizer, because that actually, among other things, produces oxygen as well as metal. It turns the rust into useful metal. But we still have, we have something, we have, we have things to work with here. Get a little ventilation hole here. That's the nice thing about having a swarm of dupes here, is that uh, they you've got a literal swarm of dupes. Um, and yeah, we actually have enough for another hydrogen generator here. Just just enough here. Um, and of course that turns that off. And then at the end of all this, a um, ventilation, gas pump here. And we are going to get a... Um, not a, um, automation, Atmo sensor. Um, yeah, Atmo sensor. Connect that to you so that you're only doing that. We also want Atmo sensors down here to basically be here and one over here. Actually, yeah, no, that is that is the correct answer. We'll get automation here and automation here. Perfect. Yeah, all this, all this copper is a godsend here. I'm glad we have this little packet, pocket vein of it. Okay, so uh, going back to our hydroponic farm here, we actually needed to go up one um, because the light won't strike this tile directly. Uh, and then we will do one, two, three, like that. This thing we can just deconstruct, and we'll just take the, the, the stuff away. We will clear these things out for now, but then let's, uh, let's check our piping. Yeah, these things are all, all piped up here. Uh, not really piped up correctly. Um, what I really should be doing here is that. And that. And then do something like that. And then that, and that, and that, and that. That's more like it. And then here we can do blossom seeds. Blossom seeds. Blossom seeds, blossom seeds. Hydroponic farm, fix our pipes. As I just realized we drew it into the correct area, or the incorrect area. Uh, 
Yeah, so something like that, and then up and over like that, and then down there. Just to have uh, sort of a, a workaround. And actually, let's, um, let's get our piping up here correctly for these. There we go, and up there, and up there. That's more like it. This will help bolster our food supply, because it's it, while it looks like it's going up, that's only because we've been digging up muck roots. And grab whatever that is. If we're look, Hey! It's a hatch! A hatch! More hatches is more good. Plop! Freeze frame, plop! Yeah, this area is starting to get thick with carbon dioxide, which is precisely why we have the oxy fern just doing its thing down here. Oh yeah, and since this area, since these things take up metal, definitely want to deconstruct it. Get that metal back, polluted as it may be. Yeah, I'm really glad there's not much water pressure up here, otherwise one of these things would be breaking. Boy, Nathan, you are, uh, you're a digging machine. I mean, damn! All right, excellent. We got that going here. I'm not going to deconstruct these oxygen um, uh, diffusers until we get our full-blown oxygen-making uh, system uh, going here, because I will not be running the base on on nothing here. But yeah, now we're we're still using the free light that we get from here from the printing pod. Also, now that I remembered it, the light doesn't uh, reach three tiles over, so we actually need to deconstruct this thing. My mistake. Although that might be a bad thing um, because there's water in it already. We might we might have something else go in here that that uh, might might want the farm tile but isn't needing of the light. Didn't realize we didn't we were short on seeds. Anyway, that will get our that will get our food going pretty nicely here. Got our research going pretty nicely here. Now I know what you're saying, Pinstar, why don't you just tap this little pool for it? Um, and yeah, maybe that might be the smarter thing to do. But first off, we need a way actually we can that actually would be a smarter thing to do. Good, good, good call, audience. Good call. I could hear you. I could hear your comments from here. Um, irrigation. Now, what? Uh, I think we we have we still have a break in our uh, in our chain here. Oh, you know what? Here's our problem. It's our bathroom loop. Now that I just now I just realized that this is all of our bathroom loop, and we don't want the, we don't want to tap into that. I mean, it's okay that polluted and germy or not polluted, but germy water is is getting into that. That's fine, but we don't want to empty out our bathroom loop here. Um, so let's uh, let's let's do something about that. Um, we're going to quick deconstruct these liquid pipes. We're actually going to put that as a nine before anyone uses the bathroom. And then we are going to construct pipes. Oh, 
up this way. Um, do we have our plumber? Andrew, yes, just in time. Pipe emptying. Andrew, you came through in a pinch, my friend. We gotta call the plumber. Because we gotta empty us some pipes in a way that isn't messy. So we'll get we'll get on to that in just a moment. So I do not want germy but clean water uh, emptying around. All right, we got this whole area built out as well. Excellent. So in our next video, we will be assembling and completing our oxygen production center uh, proper, I promise. Um, and uh, also getting this all sealed out and getting our plumbing sorted. It will be a fun time. So until next time, this has been Pinstar signing out. See ya!